This tutorial will take a look at Endrummer's Song Tab. Little brother to the MIDI command method, it's a fast and easy to use feature that will allow you to create your arrangements in no time. I'll quickly set up a drum set and rhythm to start off with. 2013! Don't hate the player, hate the game! In the song tab, the left hand side is made up of channels ranging from 1 to 9. These channels are relative to the rhythm channels in quick setup. The blocks represent different parts of the song arrangement. I can choose the purpose for the block, for example intro, short break or beat. I can also set the level and index for each block. When I click the second block, all the same options appear with the addition of bar count. This allows me to change the length, for example, of a verse or chorus. The next block is set to short break. Its position is default and can always be changed, but Endrummer makes the assumption three bars of verse will be played, followed by a one bar break. To insert new blocks or edit current ones, you can simply right click to see the options. The song tab operates Endrummer's internal sequencer, so to make it fit with the song in your host, both arrangements must match. The song I'm using is arranged in 8 bar sequences, therefore I'm editing Mdrummer's song arrangement to consist of 7 bars of beat and a 1 bar break. A disadvantage when using the song tab versus the MIDI command method is if you change the arrangement in your host, you must also update the song arrangement in Mdrummer. The song arrangement will now fit perfectly with the demo track. Team. Don't hate the player, hate the game! Mdrummer offers two very handy MIDI export methods. Simply drop the file from Cursor MIDI into your host and all the notes relative to the components used in your song will appear. Drag and drop from the cursor icon into your host, and Mdrummer will import the MIDI notes as demonstrated in the MIDI command method. Changing rhythms midway through a track is really easy using Mdrummer's channels. I've made an example scenario containing an intro followed by two instances of two bar blocks set to beats. I've copied then pasted the same arrangement onto channel 2. The grayed out blocks are where I have selected their type as disabled. I selected a rhythm for channel 1 at the very beginning, so moving to channel 2, I'll choose an alternative rhythm, something easily distinguishable. You can hear the original rhythm. Now the drum and bass rhythm. Yeah. Worldwide. This shows just how easy the song tab is to use. You can follow these guidelines for adding additional rhythms too. Just follow the same steps on the other channels. Thanks for watching. Next time I'll be going over the automatic sample library analysis and import.